Welcome back to Living Well. We are on location in Bloomington Normal with Stephanie Wood of Stephanie Wood Photography. We're continuing our conversations about bridal week and wedding planning and all of the wonderful things that entails. And you can't have a wedding unless you got pictures too. There's pictures of bonding <laughs> and a wedding experience. How did you get your start in photography? So it's a funny story. I actually dropped out of a neuroscience PhD program. Wow. To work in a portrait studio. <laughs> Um, and your parents I, went, yay. No. Yeah, they really did. <laughs> they were excited about that one. Um, yeah, but I had always had an interest in photography. And um, with my background in psychology and my background in art, I felt like photography, portrait work, was a really good blend of the two for me because creativity is something that I kind of have to have in my life at all times or I kind of lose my mind a little bit. And not just portrait work, but wedding portrait work. What drew you to the wedding experience? So my brother was getting married and didn't have a professional photographer. They had a friend that was going to do their photos. And I just, I knew how important it was to have amazing photos on your wedding day because uh, you can't go back and redo it. Mm -hmm. So that's what really kickstarted me getting into weddings. So if I'm a couple and I'm going to be getting married soon, I know I've seen wedding photos that I've liked and maybe some that I haven't liked, but I don't have a great understanding of what makes one great or not great. Can you help me through that process? Yeah, so I think to look for um, the emotional connection, not just between the couple in the photo, but um, you need to also have a great connection with the photographer. And they need to be somebody that you can feel comfortable with because um, you're going to be spending the biggest day of your life with this photographer for at least eight hours. <laughs> so it's really important to have an amazing connection with the photographer and looking through the full body of their work to see that they know how to do different lighting scenarios like natural light can't be the only thing they're good at because on a wedding day you need to be able to light receptions and dark spaces mm -hmm. and um, have a really good working knowledge of all of that. I'm intrigued by your background in psychology and in art. I would imagine that comes in very handy beca because couples are doing some some deep emotional work <laughs> as they go through a wedding planning yes. process. How do you bring in what you sense in them emotionally into what you create artistically? Well, I try to get them to really think about what they love about each other so much within those sessions. Um, it helps them so that anytime they look back at those photos, they're going to remember the love they felt that day uh, instead of you know whatever else was going on. And so what is the process like? So let's, I found you, I've met you, I love you, and now I want to start the process of, is it um, engagement photos? Like how early do I start working on photography? So photography is one of the first things that I recommend booking just because it's something that um, gets booked up pretty quickly. Okay. And you want to make sure you have a great photographer that you really connect with to work with. Um, so when it comes to me, I always like to meet people either in person or if we can't do in person, I like to do a video chat so that I can see your face <laughs> um, since I love looking at faces all the time. That's a good idea. So, and then we can move on into the booking and then we'd start with an engagement session. I think that engagement session is really important. Um, it helps you get comfortable in front of the camera so that you're not being in front of the camera for the very first time on your wedding day. And so are there any typical poses that you put people through or does it really just depend on the couple? It kind of depends on the couple. I want it to feel authentic to them and not like just your you know, staging posed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it sounds like a wonderful opportunity to capture the essence of the couple on mm -hmm. film for all time. That's a beautiful thing. Yes. Anything you'd like to add that I haven't asked about? Um, I think just that I encourage couples to think long term when it comes to their wedding photos. It's easy to get caught up in all the trends that are going on right now and think very, you know, short term gratification. But these are photos that you're going to last throughout generations. They're going to, your grandchildren will see them. So you want them to be timeless. <laughs> Stephanie Wood of Stephanie Wood Photography. <laughs> Thanks for being with us on Living Well. Thanks so much. <laughs> Living Well. We'll be right back.